to make this flower you can use any size yarn and any size hook. I'm going to start with chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join in the first stitch to form a ring. Now if you carry this yarn in along the outside of the ring, you'll be able to close that hole. Chain two. One, two. Make ten double crochet in the ring. One, two. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert, pull up one loop, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. I'm going to go ahead and finish and I'm going to make seven more double crochet in this ring. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've made my ten double crochet in the ring. I worked over the yarn end. Now if you want to, you can pull that yarn end and close up that hole. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. And that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to start making the petals. So in each one of these loops, working only in the front loop, because I'm going to use the back loop for the second row, in each loop I'm going to make a single crochet, three double crochet, one, two, three, and a single crochet. And that forms a petal. So in each one of these I'm going to do that. I'm going to do single crochet, three double crochet, one, two, three, and a single crochet. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to do that working only in the front loop of each one of these stitches. Okay, I've worked all the way around, slip stitch into that very first petal so that it joins all the petals together. And to begin the next row, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And that takes the place of the first double crochet and the first chain two space. So now I'm just going to bring this petals forward so that I can expose the back of those stitches. And I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, one, two double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, just move the petals forward. And you can see that's the back of the stitch, double crochet in that stitch. I'm going to work all the way around, working one double crochet in the back of each petal. Then I'll come back and show you how to work the next row. Okay, I worked all the way around making that grid. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that first chain two. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and in this chain two space on each one of these, I'm going to work single crochet, three double, one, two, and three single crochet. Move to the next chain two space, single crochet, three double, one, two, and three, and a single crochet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the base of that first petal, and there you have the finished flower. Now you can fasten off and sew a button in the center. And there you go, there's another easy crochet flower for you to make. And I have a yellow one here that I crocheted, and I, for this one I used a very lightweight sport weight yarn, and I made five double crochets in each petal instead of three. So there you have it. A very easy crochet flower that you can make. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.